Hi everybody, welcome back to the layout. This is going to be a little different video than normal. I'm going to try and just do one pass of progress um, because I have made a lot of progress on the layout this year and so far I filmed very little of it and I do want to share the progress with you. So let's take a look at what's new so far this year. Um, start with a couple of little things. Um, that lighthouse back there is actually a bird feeder from Walmart. Cost about $17. I'm going to do a little work to it and it's going to look great. It's going to have a new place. Uh, it won't stay forever on that stump. Um, as we keep going, this has all been cleaned out, of course, although it needs it again because it's been a couple weeks now. Um, so the first kind of bigger thing is that I've been working on the main here um, just the last couple of days. So not too much has changed. It's just kind of after five years working on what's been um, what's been lost ballast wise. So on the to do list is to mulch this again. Obviously, it's looking kind of rough. New for this year is this building here. Um, again, a couple of detailed pieces broken off that I will get glued back on depending on where I put it. This isn't its permanent place, but this is where it's going to be. Excuse me, this is not where it's going to be. This is where it is right now. Um, I also have some work to do with the mine building. Um, this has blown apart twice this year already. Um, we've had two rough windy patches, so there's not much I can do about it. I just need to stabilize the building a little bit better. You can see the, um, the truss there is not attached. Um, so I've got to stabilize that, get it into the ground better. And I have some work to do with that smaller auxiliary building. So that also needs to come back in. Um, the station has had a little bit of work done to it. Um, a couple of detail parts that had fallen off are back on. Um, both stations are going to have to go for a paint job at some point. But they're okay for now. Um, and I'm letting the mine weather. You can see the roof has got this gorgeous texturing on it now. Um, and I think it's brilliant. Um, so as you can see, the tunnel block has been removed here. This whole section is going to be landscaped um, with the rock pile. It's still going to be a kind of area of boulders, but I wanted to take this out because this track is really hard to access and really hard to clean. Um, even in the past couple of days, you can see there's leaves everywhere after I've cleaned it. Um, but here's the exciting part. I have finally started on the extension and uh, I have been posting pictures on Instagram uh, and I need to update my community feed on YouTube, but take a look. This is the beginning of the new track here um, and then we, just as an overview, we come up over back behind the new shed. And we have a four track yard, which is absolutely brilliant. And of course, this is all still in progress. So, um, you know, th there will be more landscaping and um, access and not dirt piles everywhere. But um, let's take a look at the, the rest of the layout. So right now, this stage is um, We've got ground stone um, and we have the track in pretty much, but it's not ballasted yet. Um, the track over here past the straight is ballasted and that is in permanently. Um, so anyway, um, that's one of the next steps. Um, so the track ends up coming down here um, and see, I've taken this track out of place. 
but this is the new town of Meadow. Um, so similar to the Dry Creek Loop, which is the loop we started at, um, there is a pass track. Um, there will be a station actually on the loop, which is good on the pass track. Um, so you'd also be able to park a freight car somewhere on this lead here and you would be able to run point to point use the runarounds at each of the loops um, and go from there so this will provide for great continuous running but also um, point to point running um, so and then the lead of course comes off this way so if you're trying to go a head end into the yard and you're coming from the main you would come down this way go around the loop and then go head end into the yard but the reason the yard lead comes from this side is partly because of space um it was easier for me to get a longer uh lead and a longer ladder um from this direction but also, most of the time you're not trying to go head end into the yard, you're trying to back into the yard. So therefore, you would just pull up and back in. Um, so that's pretty much the work that's going on. Um, I've got the last pieces of track to dig and put in. Um, this area in the middle here is going to be fully landscaped. Um, a little bit more than the forest loop. The forest loop is flat. We're gonna put some of the sod that I've dug up into uh, you know, a fairly meticulous um, kind of hill and get some buildings and plants and things like that um, into there. And I thought maybe the lighthouse could go up in that hill. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but we're gonna get some plants in, gonna get some more buildings. I've got two buildings that are in the shed here um, on my workbench. Um, they've got some detail parts that are on the loose. One actually was missing its roof. So I've got some styrene sheets that I'm hopefully gonna make um, and paint and make it look like a roof um, so that they both have roofs. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, I'm most excited about the yard um, because as you can see, we're under tree cover, um, but we're also behind the shed. So I can make a little awning to go over these. Um, so the cars stay dry um, even in the rainstorms, but this is a place where they won't get sun. This is a place um, where they can sit on flat ground and um, of course the three tracks closest to the shed all have these eight foot curves so all my equipment will run over them smoothly the only siding that's not is the fourth here this one has the short four foot switch but we'll see that might get changed um i was originally only planning to have a three track yard so this was an addition after i had purchased all my track um, and I thought, even if this isn't full of cars, which I'm sure it will be, um, I can use this as a steaming track. Um, you know, when the engines are getting ready and they need to roll back and forth a little bit um, to clear the cylinders. So, we'll see. But, um, this is the progress. Um, and this section that's completed is looking very good. It wraps around the Pecosandra so nicely um, and then of course we return to our original trackage so the main line is extended significantly um, when you include turning back on itself and going the other direction it's about 380 feet um, it is a huge huge line of course of that there's only half that's actually track a little bit more than half um, because you have the loops that you don't go over twice but you go over the main track effectively two times once in once in each direction so anyway that's all folks that's our update for now um 
this is all happening very quickly. Um, so, you know, maybe in a week or two, you will have a finished video. We'll have a running video, a test running video. We're gonna do some operations. Um, the only thing we might add is uh, a Y here so that trains can pass in the middle. Um, the pass track I have up there has got to be used more as a siding um, or with smaller trains because it has the four foot diameter curves and the larger equipment hates it. So that's not going to work for passing trains. But um, other than that, this is the finished layout plan. So let me know what you think. Um, any plant recommendations for the shade, um, any building recommendations, or if you're getting rid of a collection of buildings, please let me know. Um, I would love to purchase some more buildings, um, not at retail price or used. So let me know. Thank you all again. Any feedback in the comments, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this style of video, which was a little different. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.